If you want a workbench that's built to last and customizable to your space, then the 2x4 Basics workbench is the kit for you. This kit only requires straight cuts, making it a super easy DIY build that'll make you feel accomplished and look like a pro. Today we're going to show you just how easy it is to put this together. Inside the box you're going to find four legs, a bag of screws, and easy to follow instructions. And if you're missing something, feel free to reach out to our tech support or visit us at 2x4basics.com. Tools you'll need today are a circular saw, a drill with a number two Phillips bit, a tape measure, a pencil, and safety glasses. Before we get started, you want to take a good look at the instructions to get a good idea of the steps we'll be taking today. So first, you'll want to measure your space. And this workbench kit can be built any size, up to four feet wide by eight feet long. We're going to measure our space today. And we've got enough space for eight feet. And in order to fit our vehicles in here, we're going to just do 33 inches on this one. So once you measure your space and figure out the size of workbench you want, you want to refer back to the instructions to determine the exact amount of lumber you're going to need. And if you don't have a circular saw, a lot of times your lumber store will cut the wood for you. So the next cut we're going to make is going to be the width boards. And we're going to subtract three inches from that size to accommodate for your outside length two by fours. And we'll show you a little bit more about that here in just a minute. Now that we have it all cut to size, this is everything you're gonna need for this build. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is attach one of our length pieces to one of the legs. And the easiest way to do that is to use a spare piece of lumber to help level that out. And each leg is pre-drilled for you so you know exactly where to put the screws. So we've got our first side in here. We're going to grab another leg and we're going to get that installed on the other side. So we're going to insert the other leg on, get it screwed in. Once you get the first level in, you want to go ahead and build out this one side of the workbench and you can have up to three layers. For this bench, we're going to do the three levels. Each level is rated at a thousand pounds. And for you, if you only want two levels, you can do that. So customize this bench however you'd like it. All right, so that's one side. We're gonna repeat this step for the other two legs to create the other side of the workbench. So the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is put our width pieces on. You're gonna work your width pieces in, and we're gonna do that all the way up on all layers, both sides. So like I said earlier, your width pieces need to be three inches shorter and that's to accommodate for your standard two by four which is an inch and a half wide. So we just got our sides in. We've got our two length pieces built and tied into the legs and we've got our width pieces tied in. Now it's time to put our shelves in. And you want to start from the bottom and work your way up. All right, so we got those two. Now we're gonna put our other side on, get those supported. So once you get that standing pretty close, you wanna get your screws. Go ahead and fasten everything tight. Before you put your top piece on, you're going to want to measure for this cross beam that gives you that full support, the full length of your workbench. And in this case, for our 8 foot bench, we're going to be at just over 96 and a half inches. So we have our cross beam cut, and you can see that that just rests right there in the middle like that, the full length, give you that good support. So once this piece, this cross piece is in, you can go ahead and put your top piece of the workbench on, slide right in there, and there you have it. We 
just finished our workbench and we're going to turn this messy garage into a nice organized workspace. So this is our build. We invite you to visit our website at 2x4basics.com to check out other great ideas and feel free to submit your own when complete. And check out our other products and how to build them on our 2x4basics YouTube channel. And remember, we build it to last, you make it any size.